Howdy. So in the previous video, we went over, you know, getting started with everything. So we, we talked about providers, we created a resource, we created an instance, and we destroyed the instance. So what do we want to do now is talk about updating existing resources. So, you know, I recreated, I know we destroyed the instance in the previous video, but I've, re, I've recreated it now. So just so you can see here, we have this created the same thing that we did in the last video. You know, we have our t2.medium. So we have, we have this created now, but let's say maybe we wanted to, to modify it, you know, and say, you know, we don't have, we don't have a name here. So in AWS to get the name, we have to set a tag of, we have to actually add a tag of name, you know, to foo. So foo would display here, you know, so, so that's how we would do it through the interface. I'm not going to do that here. We're going to do that through Terraform. So if we look at, we have our instance here. So we're at our, you know, our resource of AWS underscore instance. So we can add tags here. So if you look, you have tags equal then a block of a key, which is the tag name, the key name, and then the value. So there should be, yeah, see how it's an, it's an optional argument. It's a map of tags to assign to the resource. And a map, you can think of a map if you're familiar with programming at all, you know, as, a, as like a Python dictionary almost. Um, so you can think of it kind of like that, where you have, you're going to have the curly braces here with a key value. So let, let's, let's add our tag now. So let's do, we can do tags, tags equal, and then let's do name equal. Name is going to be the key and then a value of, you know, tuts example. So now this is going to give our, our tag of name and a value of tuts example. So maybe we wanted to add another tag. So if you look, we don't have any tags right now, no tags. So let's just add a tag of foo bar and we can add a, as many tags as we want here. If we wanted to as, as many as actually AWS ex accepts. But to get our instance name here, it has to be a special um, name here or name key. So that's basically all we need to do. And in the previous video, we talked about Terraform plan and Terraform apply. You know, if you want to use plan, it's up to you. But if you do a Terraform apply, it does the plan before anyways. So going forward, we'll probably just use Terraform plan uh, just because it, it already or Terraform apply. Sorry, say that again. Let me say that again. Going forward, we'll be using Terraform Apply most of the time because it does a Terraform plan anyways. All right, so let's do Terraform Apply. And again, this is gonna this is gonna output the changes of what Terraform is actually gonna do before it actually hits the actual interface. So right now it's not doing anything to our our actual cloud account. All right, nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? Did I save it? I think I forgot to save it. So make sure you save it. All right. So now if you look, our output's a little bit different from the last video. So you see here, before we had like a plus or a minus. Now we have like a, a yellow tilde. So what this is saying, this is going to, you know, it's going to update the instance in place. So basically it can just do a very simple update in place. It's not going to destroy the instance. It's just basically just going to add on to the instance. Uh, because sometimes you'll be able to see that sometimes depending on what you change, it will destroy the instance. But for just adding the tags like this, it's not. So basically like we, we're, we're good, like this looks nice. And outputs everything else about our instance, but let's keep scrolling down and we can see exactly what it's going to do. So here we know everything that it's going to do. So it's going to say, we're going to add tags. We're going to add a name and a foo. So a name attribute and a foo attribute with these values. 
That's basically what it's going to do. So now let's just click yes. And after a sec, we should have our tags created. All right, so those are created now. So now if we refresh, we should see some values here. Perfect. So now you see how we have a name of Tut's example that matches this here. So we know that worked. So let's click it and we should see our other tags on here as well. So we have the foo and the bar. So perfect. So so we have that. You know? So that that was very simple. So like it just all this do, did was add, you know, add to our existing instance and didn't do anything else to it. So, you know, a lot of times when you're developing or as you've got production code, you know, you're gonna you maybe wanna add tags or you wanna, you know, change different stuff. So you'll, you'll do Terraform Reply a lot after you've created your instances. You know? But that, that was very simple. So the tags didn't really do much. All it did was add to our existing, our existing instance. But let's say we mo wanted to modify, you know, we, mo we needed to, like, we noticed that, all right, our server size is too small. So we wanted to go from a medium to a large. So we do that. So we go from a T2 medium to a large. So perfect. So now let's let's do apply and let's see what happens. All right. So it's going to give us the same output like before. And again, this says update in place. And you can see, and then you come back, you can see, you know, the before was going to be two two t two medium, and the after was is going to be t two large now. So perfect. So, you know, so all is good. You know, the one thing to watch out for is, you know, you need to watch out this what this is going to do, and you need to know what your cloud provider is going to do on this but you know when we change the the instance size it's going to restart our machine so if you have active users on that instance right now changing the size is going to cause a restart which will kick people off the system so that's one thing you need to to be be aware of so changing the instance type here is the same as going in here and changing um changing the instance type through the interface which requires you to stop the machine and, and start it, you know? So that's what essentially what Terraform is gonna do in the background. It's gonna stop the machine and restart it once it changes the instance type. So let's click, let's do yes. Yeah, so just be aware of when, when you're changing things, just be aware of what you're changing and what it could affect to your users or different things like that. All right, so it's changed now. So now you see it says one changed. So it changed our instance. So now, Instead of T2 medium, we should see T2 large. Let's refresh. And T2 large. You see how it says initializing now? That's because it had to restart the instance when it changed the size. You know, so that's that's very uh, important to keep that in mind when you change it. But perfect. So now we're changing. We've we've got this instance, and we've, we're just changing it all through the Terraform code, which is which is awesome. Uh, but let's say now we don't want to use Ubuntu anymore. Let's say we wanted to use, you know, so we had the AMI. This was from Ubuntu. Maybe we wanted to use Red Hat now. So let, let's let's change our instance to Red Hat. You know, so if we were to do this inside the the interface here, we'd have to just we'd have to delete our instance here, delete it, and just recreate one from scratch. But you know, maybe you know, if we had we only wanted to just change the image, but we wanted to create all of our other settings the same. So having to do that through the portal, you'd have to like just do everything again and, and manually do all that process, which that could cause, you know, human error and all that. But, you know, if we already have our, all of our code set up here to what we need, all we need to do is just change the AMI to recreate it. So let's, let's, let's find the AMI. So let, let's, let's just go say we want Red Hat here. So let's grab our AMI. And I'm going to comment that out for now because we might use it again. But so now let's change it out. So we're going to change it from Ubuntu to Red Hat. Perfect. So you got to be aware, though, what this is going to do is when we do Terraform Apply, you'll see some different output. All right. So now you look, look at all, the, there's a lot of pluses, a lot of, 
you know, tildes. There's a lot of different stuff going on here now just because we just, all we did was change the AMI. There's a lot of different stuff going on right now. So now you see here, d destroy and then create replacement. So the, the minus plus here is saying it's going to destroy it and then create a replacement. You know, because when you change the instance, you know, image, it's got to destroy the machine and then it's going to recreate it. So you can see here in red, it's saying it's going to replace. So this existing instance is going to be completely replaced. So when we change this and we go here, this image is, or this instance here, this record is going to be completely deleted. You know, when we, when we say yes to this, we say yes, this is going to be deleted and it's going to be recreated with a brand new instance, which means we could lose anything. You know, if that, if we had data that could be, that could go away um, and all that. So very important to know what's going to happen with all this. So you can see how all of this is going away. All right, so let's do yes. And that's probably going to take a, a minute or two. All right, perfect. It's done now. So if you look at the, like the log here that I did, it, so you can see destroying. So that means it's destroying the instance. Then the destroy was complete. And then it starts creating the new one based on this new AMI. So now we should be able to go in here, refresh. And now we've got th this one now. So here's our old one. You can kind of see it's been terminated. And here's our new new instance. And you can see, you know, we have all the same tags and everything because we've already had it in the code. You know, if we had to do that manually through the interface, that could be cumbersome. So you can kind of see the power of, of Terraform and all of that. And let's let's just de destroy it. Just like we did before, we can de destroy. And you don't you guys don't really need to see that. You've already seen it in the very the, the previous video. But you can see how it's just gonna delete uh, delete everything now. So let's just do yes.